Hello, Photoshop Senior Edition folks. We're going to take an image today, this image, and we're going to kind of recreate it. So I'm going to call this a photo recreation because we want to come up with something that looks like this when we're finished. So we want to clean it up nice, get rid of the pole here, that uh, pole in the middle, all the wires, the light pole in the back, all the clutter that's in this image, we want to get rid of it, turn it into something like this. And I would, instead of calling it a restoration, because there's nothing damaged about this image, it just needs to be kind of recreated to become this image, a nice looking Texaco stand from days gone by. So with that, let's get started. As we should do with any image that we are going to work on and save layers possibly or edit it again in the future, we want to go ahead and save this work as a Photoshop file. So we're going to do a save as, put it on our desktop perhaps, and we can go with the default name that's on it. This is old Shawneetown Texaco uh, PSD and I'm going to maybe put on the front of this practice and click save. So now as I progress through this I'm not going to just rely on Photoshop's auto save feature. I'm going to do a control S or command S on a Mac from time to time to save the changes because there's going to be a lot of things that we do and we need to constantly update it. So the first thing I would do is crop this a little bit. If you look at the edges you'll see a transparency showing at the edge. So let's just click on the crop tool or press the letter C for crop and you can use whatever size you want. I'm going to make this, it's a vertical already, so that means that the image is taller than it is wide. Let's um, look in terms of uh, changing the this to 8 by 10 and then we've got to crop it in a little bit to get rid of those uh, transparent edges. So begin the uh, pull in, but notice it wants to snap to the outside edge, which makes it harder to get just a little bit trimmed off. But if once you start uh, dragging, if you hold down the control key or command key on a Mac, it will let you fine tune that little bit of space there. So I, I begin with the control or command button not pressed down drag it just a little bit and then I press down the controller command key and see how it lets me just drag it a little bit. Alright so I've taken care of the sides now do I want to move this up or move it down so if I do move it notice it's kind of shifting back and forth uh, hold down your shift key and it'll keep it lined up so do we want more of the top or do we want more of the bottom in the crop area? I don't really like uh, having the gravel and stuff down there so I'm just going to move it all the way to the top and I think I'm comfortable with that so I can hit enter or double click inside that area. Now we still have a little bit at the top so I'm going to do a control Z to undo that hit the crop tool again and drag it in, hold down my control key so I can fine tune it. Same thing over here. Start without the control key down, then press it, and then I can move it just a little bit. And let's hold down the shift key, move it up a little bit. Now see it's trying to snap. So hold down the shift and the control key and you can move it just a little bit at a time. Let go with the mouse. We'll hit enter and now we've got a good crop. No edge problems. 
Let's do a control S to save it and update it. And let's begin the process of eliminating some of the things that are in this image. You can start with the easiest part or you can start with the hard part. I like to kind of build up a little bit. So let's just say we want to get rid of this light pole back in the background. So I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit, holding down with my little pinky, the control key or command key, index finger on the space bar, and I'm just going to click once on the mouse, hold it down, drag, and that brings it on in. Or you can hold it down, those keys down, and then click a couple of times with your mouse and it'll zoom in on the area that you click. I'm holding down the space bar, moving it up a little bit. Now, we're going to try to get rid of as much information we can at one time to save our time in the workflow. So we can basically click on the lasso tool, the top one, and we can go in here and just draw a selection around the top of the light and the top of the pole. Make a nice selection around it, doesn't have to be accurate. Then we're going to go to Edit, Fill, and if Content Aware isn't up, just click on that little down arrow, go to Content Aware, click OK, and it does a pretty good job filling the top of the pole and the lamp in. Leaves a lot of other stuff, the wire for example, so just click once somewhere and the marching ants will go ahead and disappear on their own. Let's go for another chunk. Now notice I make a little hook on one side of my selection. I'll start right in here and, and go up. Go to the other side. Go down. And right here I can let go and it'll snap to the other end where I made the hook. Now again edit. And we're going to go to fill content aware and it does another good job on that holding down the space bar I'm gonna move it on down make a little hook right here go all the way down let go right there edit fill content aware it's gone it fixed it up here where this seam is I guess you could call it and down here looks good all right you can do some of this also on the lines. Let me show you. We can just go like this, come down here, let go, and do a fill. And it does a pretty nice job. So you can do it that way, but I also like to go over here and click on the spot healing brush. Top one works very much the same way, but you've got to make a selection area. So let's look at the spot healing brush, and then with it, you can just paint and things go away. Holding down the space bar, I'm going to move it up, and let's just say we want to get rid of this stuff up here. Well, you can actually, and it a bit depends on the brush size. If it's you know too big, too big, you're going to really run into problems. Too small, it's going to take longer. That's what it boils down to. So you try and do what you can get by with, is essentially how I work. If this doesn't work, I'll make it a smaller brush. So I'm going to just paint right now in this area up here and see if I can't get rid of that. There we go. I'll paint a little stroke there make my brush a little bit smaller and see if I can't paint that away maybe that one paint in there to get rid of any junk see it's making a little bit of tree and that's fine nobody knows any different now here trying to paint along a straight line sometimes is a little bit problematic so and notice where I got close to the edge it didn't do a good job I'm going to do a control Z. If you click once here, go over here, hold down your shift key and click. It draws the straight line and zaps whatever's there. Okay, one more time. I'm going to control Z that. I'm going to come down here, just click once, left mouse. 
come up here, hold down my shift key, and left mouse click again. It draws that straight line and gets rid of it. Let's make the brush smaller with the left bracket key and go in there and kind of nip that in the bud. And I'm going to try just drawing it down there. There, took care of that. So we've got more wires and we handle them pretty much the same way. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Come down here, click once, come up here, shift click. Now a little telltale right in here, so I'll just paint that. And we've got a lot more there, so let's click once here, shift click up here. And if you don't get it, just turn around and go the opposite direction. Click here, shift click down here, click here, shift click down here. Got a light little area right in here that's not a big deal. This used to take hours because you had to use the clone stamp tool and different uh, areas that you clone from may be lighter than the other parts and it really could be difficult. Let's click once here, left mouse, shift click down there, click once here, shift click down there. Let's do the same, let's try to get this whole thing. Just click once up here, shift click there. So we've pretty well taken care of a ton of wires. Let me do a control minus. All those in the corner are gone. If we go to history real quick and look at the original, look at all the wires we took care of. Let's go back down here and we'll proceed. Now we got rid of quite a few wires doing that already. So I'm going to do a control S or command S on a Mac so we can update the saved file. Let's go in and click and get rid of this one doing the same thing. Now this is a little bit broader wire so I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. Click there, shift click up here. Now let's click the top of this. We'll click once here and shift click down here. And take it from one that has done a lot of photo restorations. In the old days, again, this took hours. And, and it just was very frustrating, tedious work. This just makes it a game, pretty much. So I'm going to go in here and get rid of this little wire. I'm going to make the brush smaller, left bracket key. Just kind of come down here. I don't want to blur that edge. And let's go back up here. And it's too small of a brush for that piece, so I'll make it a little bit bigger with the right bracket key. And let's just paint along here, see what we can quickly get rid of. I mean, this is just uh, so nice, so easy to do it that way. We'll come back and address that in a minute, because we're going to get rid of that whole pole. So I'm going to click here. Shift click down here. A little bit of stuff there and there. Let's go down here and click. Shift click. Now I'm, I'm making that a pretty big size brush for that smaller wire. You're never uh, really supposed to do that. It should be just slightly bigger than the area you're trying to get rid of. So click here. Shift click. Oops. Let's do that again. There we go. And I'm just going to paint a little bit right there and try to get rid of some of that because we're going to get rid of that whole pole. Now, there's spots on the sign. We can restore that sign if we want to, but I really want to keep that rust, most of it. So any little places I'm going to kind of get rid of to clean it up. That brush is just worth its weight in gold. There's a little area there. And we're going to get this right here just a few little places and you can imagine if we we're doing this on a face this works the same way as it does here so I'm going to click and drag along that line let go see how nicely it filled that in alright let's do a control or command minus and see what we got alright we want to go ahead and get rid of these wires here 
and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm doing that again with the little finger down on the control index finger on the space bar and clicking I'm going to make my brush a little smaller I'm going to paint this a little bit more and then I'm going to go down here and shift click and bring that on down get what we can as quick as we can make sure it goes away and even when you get into the leaves it will work it'll replace it sometimes with the leaves there we go now that leaf kinda left a gap or that erasing that so let's get that stuff out of there click shift click down here sometimes I don't do a good job of click shift clicking and we got all this area here click there shift click down here missed it again there we go just go back the opposite way if it doesn't happen click shift click click this is where it gets a little hairier did a great job now we're gonna go those crosshairs are essential so if you don't have the crosshairs in your uh, mouse you want to go to edit your preferences under the edit go down to preferences and, and adjust your cursor so it has the point like that cancel that so I'm gonna click right on that line bring it down nice job not me I'm talking to I'm talking to Photoshop alright so that wire going across the roof is completely gone we got this just kinda this plug-in thing hanging out in the air so I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger paint down there paint on this box that you can't beat that folks All right, so let's zoom out control minus command minus we have cleaned up a ton of stuff already so let's jump from this pole in the middle to the giant telephone pole now let's get rid of these wires first because that can be a little bit problematic so pinky on the uh, controller command key index finger on the space bar and left click a couple of times to zoom in on this stuff again with the uh, spot healing brush tool we're gonna just click here and shift click down here click here shift click up there now we need another brush a little bit bigger and click there shift click down here click here shift click up here and just like that we are getting rid of tons of clutter just kind of trimming the fat here a little bit now we're gonna get rid of the pole so we're gonna click on the lasso tool and we're going to make a hook right here click and drag go up down here a little ways don't go all the way into the trees come over here and let go snaps to the other end we can do an edit fill content aware you can't beat that click once on the image the marching ants go away let's go down to the sign so we click here to make a hook go around here and let's go out here and around let go and we do edit fill and we got this copied over here we don't care that's fine we'll just make another little selection around that let go sometimes you have to do this a few times to get rid of stuff but it works like a champ all right space bar held down and I push it up a little bit I'm going to use uh, a lasso around this and I got just a little bit of the sign there so I hold down my shift key to add to the selection go back and edit fill content aware 
Now, live this with this. That's not a problem either. All right. We want to try to take out uh, as much of this base of the pole as we can. So let's let's try this. Let's go. Uh, let's say make a hook right here and come down. It's being pretty aggressive, and let's try it. It doesn't hurt to try it. Okay, it did a pretty good job. Not great, but it created this. We'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll just make another selection right there. There we go. Got rid of that. Let's go see it made a copy of this post there. And go edit fill content aware now I guess you got the idea we can do the same thing with this stop sign let's go right here make a hook go all the way down let go and let's try it nice that just saved us so much work doing that so let's Hold down the space bar, come up here. Now let's do a control S to save it, and we can proceed. Now, we've got uh, all of this in a kind of tricky area because we have roof angle here, roof angle here, and we've got to take care of all that. So let's move from that part right now to getting rid of the pole in the middle, which I suspect is a a flagpole and and we could have gone in there and put a nice flag on the end of this pole but for this exercise we want to get rid of it so I'm gonna make a hook right here by clicking dragging up come down let go you want to try to get rid of as much stuff as you can with this tool because it just does such a great job let's go around here down to about right there, let go, edit fill, nice job again, control S. So now you see we really cleaned up the image already. That looks pretty funny if, if we just left it like that, but we're going to fix it. So let's go in and zoom in on this part right here. What we want to do is cover Part of the door or the, this pole and get door back but just for grins let's try zapping this just like it is with it over the glass on a door and everything we'll just see what it does so I make a hook come on down let's not go the whole way let's let's just try that section go edit fill uh, didn't work. We've got some of our door there filled with uh, whatever. If I click it off, you can see uh, we don't want that on our door. Uh, we can fix that uh, pretty good, but let's do let's do a Control Z to Control Alt Z to bring it back a little bit more. We're going to make a copy of some of this glass that's in the door and cover this pole up with it. So let's make a selection with the rectangular marquee tool. Bring it right up against the edge of that. Now we're pixel or uh, feathered so I'm gonna change that to maybe a 2 and do it again. We don't want the white. All right, so I'm going to do a Control J. We only have this one layer, so I'm going to do a Control J and switch to the Move tool. And with the arrow keys, right arrow, slide that piece over right on top of the post or the pole. Now we're going to do what we've already learned before. We're going to create a mask on here so we click on the square donut the bottom of the layers palette 
to put that mask on there. And we want to go in and kind of erase or cover up a little bit of this. So we're going to make sure that the mask is selected, turn on the paintbrush, make it small. We want it to be soft, so click up here, make sure soft is 0% hardness. And let's just see what we get now when we. Now we're painting, I'm going to do a Control Z, we're painting to 100% on our mask, so we need to tone that down. And then we just start painting either side here. You see, we can bring the post back. We don't want to do that, so I'm pressing X to paint with white. Bring that back in. Press X again, and then we'll take this down, not the post. Makes sense, hope. Uh, let's go 100% to bring this back back hide that now let's take that back down and paint with black I pressed X to do that we'll just kind of blend that back a little bit into the door that was there this side same thing so we're just painting on the mask making those edges disappear a little bit now, if I brought it back too far, you see that sharp edge coming back. So I press white to bring some of that other back. And we've pretty well got that. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, the post is got glass over it. So that part's fixed. So if we're satisfied with it, and let's do uh, one more little thing here. Let's uh, control spacebar click. I'm going to see a pattern here because we copied from here, put it over here. Uh, we have an exact reflection right there. So what we can do, make sure you're clicked on the actual piece, not the mask. And let's try the lasso to kind of blend that back out of there. So let's go edit, fill, content aware fill, click once, and that piece of reflection blended in with the rest of it. Now we got a little line here still yet. So I can make a selection out of that and do a content aware fill on that too and it blends it. Same here. If I get a little edge I don't like. So we've got this door looking nice. We can take some of these redundant white pieces that were copied right out of there. So our door looks pretty good now. We can go ahead and sandwich this down on the existing layer make it all one layer now control E E is an echo so now it's all part of the door we don't have to worry about that holding down the space bar I'm gonna push this down and I can do the same thing with part of the door copy it over this or I can try the fill again to see if it works any better than it did a while ago so I can click here Let's just go to there. I'm going to get rid of some of this on this side by holding down the Alt key. Take away from that selection. Let's try Content Aware Fill again. Uh, it didn't work. So we do a Control Z, turn off those marching ants. With uh, the Marquee tool selected, let's just click and drag here. And we'll make a copy of that. Control J. With the move tool on, you can press the letter V as in victory if you want. And I'm using the right arrow key, holding it down, and just bringing that right over the top of that. So right in there, you can see the top of the post there, just a little bitty bit. We want a mask again, square donut, 
and we're going to paint with black right on here and again we want this opacity to be down so we paint and get rid of that line that's there and then we can do the same on this side now see I went a little bit too far and I've got the white edge so press X to paint with white bring that back and then we're going to go ahead and sandwich this we're gonna fix that so those lines don't show so we're just gonna click on this so the little piece there is selected do a control E again now let's fix this line so we can turn on the spot healing tool again make it smaller and we just run it down there and we just knock those lines out of there how about that well let's go this way fix that so that heals up a problem now there's a piece that kinda if we didn't have that uh, feathered this little white thing wouldn't be here so I'm gonna click over here one time come over here and shift click yep, didn't take do it again and we got rid of that little white area there let's do a control s to save it let's zoom out so you can see real quick we've got a lot taken care of already let's tackle content aware on this post again I don't like to give up on that so I'm just going to uh, turn on the lasso tool and make a selection out of it I'm a little too close here so I'm holding down the shift key to add a little bit more alt key take away a little bit all right, let's give it a shot. Edit, fill, content aware. Beautiful. Now, if you didn't notice, when you go to edit, there's a content aware scale. Don't click that one by mistake. You want fill, content aware. All right, so we've taken care of that part of the post. Now then, we can do the same thing here that we did on the other part of the post. So let's uh, think in terms of copying this and sliding a piece over. So let's turn on the rectangular marquee tool. Let's start down here so we don't get too carried away. Let's go up like this. And let's just take in that much. See if we can get by with it. Control J turn on the move tool or press the letter V as in victory and right arrow key brings that over you see we got a little bit of whoops didn't mean to go down control Z to undo that let's let's bring it over again now we'll take care of that line problem that's because of the soft feather let's let's undo that. Let's throw that away we have the trash can and get rid of that piece altogether let's turn on the marquee tool again and this time a zero feather so we can see what the difference is going to be let's click right here drag that up again got to keep it off the white do a control J Turn on the move tool with the V, V is in victory, and right arrow key, sliding that right on over. Oh, look at that. So much nicer. Now, let's just go ahead and bring this down, Control E. Let's save this, Control S. Now, if we see any lines in there or problems, remember our little buddy here. Hold that down and get the spot healing tool. Take that stuff out so nobody sees it. Let's come down here. We've got a little bit right there. We can go this direction. And let's see. We've got this all taken care of. Right here's a little bit. So again, 
let's click and shift click over here well, try that just blurt it out so let's do control Z a couple of times and instead of doing that we're going to go with the healing brush tool on top this time we're going to sample from a good area and put it over the top of this so let's go down here sample this we want that line to line up so I'm going to click uh, with the mouse with the alt key down then come over here and I'm going to click one let's see right here's where I need to start click here and come over here line that up shift click little off control Z control alt Z let's try it again only this time let's switch to the clone stamp you gotta try and see what works best alright hold down the alt key click here to sample come over here line that up now it's lined up and I just paint okay same thing up here uh, let's get some of this that's the same angle uh, that we want to paint in there so let's click here and then we can come down here and click let's click something over here now it's kind of fuzzy so what we need to actually do is get some roof and fill that in so let's go here and let's just make a selection we need a pretty big one uh, because we want to have that pattern on the roof blend in so do a control J command J on a Mac press V for victory to bring up the move tool and then just uh, use your right arrow let it slide on over and see how that lined up let me move that out again as we move it in we want the lines to overlap and that does you can't tell at all where that was so let's do a control E to sandwich that let's do a control S to save it I'm gonna zoom out just so you can see that whole big flagpole is almost gone now so let's go ahead and move over here to this pole all right so here we go we're going to got a mess here too that we're gonna fix we don't have to worry about that right now so we're going to make a copy of some of this stuff up here and put it over the top of that so let's do the marquee tool and I'm just gonna make a selection out of hmm, about that much area no we want to go down further don't we so let's let's do about like that control J turn on the move tool with V as in victory right arrow sliding over sliding over sliding over all right notice it's slightly out of a line so let's use the up arrow up arrow up arrow you're right there and I can live with that let's do a uh, mask the square donut press B for your brush we need black on top and now let's start painting some of that edge back out of there see that just go away up here same thing we don't want that edge there if you want to soften it all to make it blend you just start painting a little bit okay let's zoom out that's gone now we need to copy some roof to make this part here go away so I'm gonna hold down my spacebar to move that over the rectangular marquee tool and I'm just gonna drag a line like this because I want to copy some of that roof to put over here I can't turn this selection so I need to go to select transform selection now I can turn that and just want to line that up a little bit 
So it's like this. Copy that. Let's extend this a little bit down here. Double click or hit enter and we're going to do a control J. Let's undo that because I need to sandwich this right here. This layer two needs to go down. It's, that part's fixed so do a control E and now that it's all one piece. Now with this selected we're going to do a control J. So now if I use V to move tool and go right arrow look what's coming. So a little funky right? Looks long, kind of wrong. So what we're going to do hold down the spacebar and move that over and we're going to turn this with the transform tool. So control T to transform this and we turn this we bring it over here and we're going to have to line that up so let's zoom in a little bit so pinky on the uh, alt or the control key or command key uh, index finger on the spacebar and then we can zoom in click once now you see this is a little lower this is a little higher so I go out here and it turns into the little double arrow and it lets me line that up so the only problem is these lines are going this way those lines are going that way so what we need to do is right click inside this bounding box which allows us to flip it horizontally this gets the lines going in the same direction so now we'll turn that again and notice it's down just a little bit right there so if we hold down the control key we can nudge that corner a little bit now that looks pretty good double click or hit enter now we need to mask some of this stuff out we don't want the tree in there on top of the other roof so we create a mask a lot of steps in there but trust me this all uh, works out a lot better than using the uh, clone stamp tool so make sure this is on a hundred percent and all I'm doing is hiding that uh, area that was the tree that we selected along with the roof and there it's kind of blending so we don't have to worry about that very much okay so that much is gone too let's control Z that so we need another little patch of roof here to cover that so let's sandwich this let's do a control E to bring that down and then control S to save it all again let's get another patch of roof so I'm gonna do the marquee tool and just space bar over a little bit and let's uh, let's grab some maybe like this let's move that down a little bit and do a control J now we're gonna bring that over turn on the move tool and let's see about lining this up now we're not lined up see that line is up there and this lines over there so we're gonna do a control T so we can turn it and let's look in terms of lining this up now the spacing's a little bit off again remember we just hold down the control key and we can move that stuff where we want to double click now we got a little bit that I didn't cover there so let's do a control Z let's move it up a little bit and control T we can move it out stretch it a little bit if we want control bring that down bring this down a little bit there let's try going up gonna have to piecemeal that we're, we're gonna pull a little trick on that let's control click drag that down I want to line that up and this up I'm gonna hit enter now I need to 
put a new mask on and get rid of some of this right here so turn the brush on black should be on let's make this less soft so it doesn't erase too far like this smaller left bracket key I'm going to click right here come down here and shift click see how that erased that in a straight line just like painting alright so we've taken care of a bunch we got a little tree here little mess there we're gonna control E to sandwich that again do a control S to save it because right now if this crashed or we decided we were done working for now we come back and reopen this and all the stuff is fixed to the point that we are right now so let's go up here to the spot healing brush tool and let's just paint a little bit of stuff here and see what we can do with this just not bad all right that whole flagpole is now gone now if you want to get rid of this clutter right here uh, I would say just turn on the clone stamp tool and let's make this a little bit smaller we'll sample from right here hold down your alt or option key on a Mac look right here line that up there and then you can kinda of come up and down a little bit and paint and then do the same thing on this side it will go right in here click there with the alt key and then come over here make sure it lines up and you can kind of paint that it got a little messy there but I'm we're not going to take time to fix every little thing I'm gonna hold down the alt key right there again line that up there we go control s to save it and we can go up here and try to do another little clone job let's let's see what we can get here we'll just grab this and see what happens beautiful now we're going to grab some of this and put it over the top of that so we're just going to do the marquee tool drag it out and again go to select transform selection because this is what we want this strip to cover that so we'll just narrow that down we don't need all of this obviously it's just a short area so we can drag that in and we'll say this is good double click or hit enter do a control J let's move it on up turn on the the uh, move tool by pressing V or going up here and then we're going to just shove it on up there kind of line it up and see what we got and we're going to do a control E to go ahead and bring this layer down control S to save it and this we can just do a nice little uh, spot healing brush and just paint that and then that is gone any little edges there just kind of paint them and let the spot healing tool kind of fix that for us alright so let's zoom out isn't it amazing how much we've gotten out of that image so let's uh, and and one of the things that would have saved us some time I'm holding down this the, the uh, spacebar we're going to actually copy this and put one of these over here because if you look at the original see the we've got this post on here this copy from this side so now that we've covered it up one way we're gonna go over here and cover it up in another way we're gonna <clears throat> click on the rectangular marquee tool and go right over here and we're just gonna make a copy of this whole thing all the way up to the edge of the window and now we're going to do the control J switch it to move tool or the letter V 
I'm going to hold down my shift key so I can keep it lined up as best as possible. And we're going to take that edge right up to the edge of that window. Okay. Now, this edge right here is this same inside edge here. So we've got to flip that around. So we do a control T and right click inside the bounding box <clears throat> and go to flip horizontal. Now we bring that edge up to the edge of the window <clears throat> and let's go in a little bit here. We want to line that up, make sure that that's all even. <clears throat> hit enter. Now it's off just a wee bit so I'm going to use the arrow keys to just move it right over there where it belongs. Now we've got a little shadow area right here and a little bit here and I'll show you how to clean that up. We'll go over here to where layer 2 is now and just control E that to flatten that back again. Let's do a Control S <clears throat> so we can move on. We're going to click on the spot healing brush and we're going to just go up and down this a little bit, a little smaller brush, and just kind of make that blend. And same thing right over here where that is. And that does a pretty good job of it. So now we've taken care of a lot of territory in a very quick fashion. And see, that would have covered up that huge post. So two ways to fix that post. We need to copy some roof to lay down on this right here. So let's go and get the marquee tool again. Press the letter M. And we're just going to make a little selection right there. Go to Select, Transform Selection, swing that around, line it up. Let's zoom in a little bit here so we can get a good alignment. We only need a little bitty bit of this. <clears throat> Double click, Control J, and we're going to move that, V to move it. And we want to line that up, this corner, and come across. Okay, so we obviously we're going to have to do a control T to transform it. We want to lay that into that corner, bring that up a little bit more. Let's change the opacity of this so we can see through it. That needs to go up a little bit more yet. Double click. Let's get the opacity back to 100%. And now we're going to have to mask some of this off. Let me put the little square donut back on here. Get the brush. Paint with black. Smaller brush. We want some of this up here to go away. We'll do this part at 100%. And we can paint back with white if we needed to bring any of that back and we need to mask this part off so we can see that other part of the roof whoops control Z switch back to white and now we've got that connected we just got to fit this little piece right here in so we're going to do a control E to mash that back down and let's just try this see if we can fill that place in yep now if we isolate this right through here with just having green on top we can fill this in already too so let's put a new blank layer on that and we're going to use the clone stamp tool. I'm going to hold down the space bar and move that, get some good greenery. 
I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. Uh, hold down the Alt or Option key to get a source area, target that source area there. And then we're just going to paint right along this area. And we can contr totally control this because it's on its own layer. So if we want to erase any of that, we can. But we're going to say that's just right. And we can doctor it up by sampling a little bit here and add that right there and sample some of that. Add it in right in here. And then we'll bring this layer down, Control E. And now this is isolated. So we can make a loose selection around this and do Content Aware Fill. And that is cured. So we can kind of smooth those areas out a little bit. All right, let's zoom out. So we've totally taken care of the huge pole. Let's do a Control S to save it. Now we need to, I got rid of this, I uh, had to redo part of this. I'm going to uh, select this real quick and do a Content Aware Fill. And let's see how far up I can go and make this thing still work. Beautiful. Let's try it right here. Beautiful. All right. Well, I know that I can't go up any higher getting this right. At least I'm, I think I tried that. I'm going to make a selection there anyway just to see if it's possible. I'm going to shave some of that off holding down the Alter Option key on both sides and try it again. Okay, it got rid of some of that. I'm going to take everything I can get. So, I need to um, make a selection. And you see when I redid some of this uh, to catch back up, I got a little bit sloppy. And I can fix some of that just by running this through there. That didn't help, did it? And I can clone some of this too. A little bit bigger and sample from, say, right there. Line that up. There we go. Let's fix that a lot better. All right. Let's get back to this stop sign. We probably need to grab a similar area to this right here. We can copy it and drop it right on top of that. So let's do a rectangular marquee. Just do that. Then we're going to refine this uh, selection with a transform. Turn this. Bring it down. Line it up. And we need to go a little bit wider Take it back down here, bring it in, double click, and we're going to control J that, and turn on the move tool with a V, and we're going to put that on top. Now notice, you got to line that up, and you got to have this lined up. So we're going to have to do the control T again, swing it down. And we need to change the opacity of this to see how these things are lining up or not. Now, to make that kind of come down, we're going to have to hold down the control key and kind of place that where we want it. Control key on this. And let's punch this up a little bit right there. Double click it. And let's go ahead and mask some of this. So we put the square donut on, paint with black, so I switch those two colors, 
a little bit bigger brush and shift click down there I'm gonna kind of have to pick up speed or we're gonna be doing this for ages so we're gonna erase some of that actually we're just masking it we're not erasing and we can get rid of some of that let's change the opacity back so now we've got some of that stop sign hidden I should have lined that up a little bit better appears appears so holding down the control key lift that up just a little bitty bit all right now we're going to try getting some of this down here so let's turn on the clone stamp tool and we're going to get a brush about that size will work and we have to line this up sorry about that so I'm going to make this larger I'm doing the control space bar click and we need to be lined up here so I'm holding down the alt key I'm going to use this as my target area so I click here and come down here line that up click and then I start painting now I'm on the mask so that's not gonna work well gotta be right on the image itself so let's let's do it again sample come down here line this up click and we paint and it went too far so we're gonna undo that control Z you just gotta be patient and get a little bit of time not try to get too much going at the same time let's go down get that too and we're gonna stop right there let's sample again come right there paste and right here come on down we can click here to sample come up here sample from here line that up now then we can actually go into the roof area and we can sample from somewhere and, and the thing is you really want to line these things up but I'm not gonna for the sake of time I'm gonna kinda move ahead now I've covered up more than I should have with with that but we're gonna pretend we're good to go and it when I zoom out it looks pretty good going to kind of cure this right in here but we're going to sandwich this down again with the control E and let's let's go at this one more time let's sample here line it up there we go you just have to make sure that thing is lined well and aligned well and then we're good to go now down here we've got some area to fix so let's zoom in Again, we'll line this up over here, find the same area over here, or we can come from this side, click on probably one of the joints there, and come over here, lined up, click, paint. Let's do it some from over here. Line that up with the mortar. Okay, let's click here, paint, and then we can come right down here. Let's do that again. Click here, line it up, and come down. Let's line this back up here. There we go. So it's important to, to line those things up, and I should have taken more time, but we're kind of going over if we're not careful here. So let's go in and get the stop sign taken care of. New layer. We're going to clone some trees at the bottom edge of this stop sign. 
little bit smaller brush, sample up here, come down here. We're just painting in those leaves and we're going to say that's perfect. Sandwich this down, control E, make a selection with the lasso tool because here comes content aware fill again. There we go. If we are unhappy with the edges, again, I'd pull out this trusted tool and just kind of hit those areas and smooth that back out a little bit. Get rid of that. Control minus a couple of times to see what we need to fix yet. So let's go down here and I'm doing the control space bar or uh, command space bar and we just click and drag around this anchor gone get this little edge here now let's zoom out control zero let's do an s control s if we want to we we've cleaned this image up pretty darn good uh, if we want to fill in more grass we make this brush bigger and watch this Painting grass in. How awesome is that? And let's just say we want to kind of even that off. There you go. Uh, if you think some of the edges look a little odd, you can always click and bring in the patch tool. And that allows you to go down to a different area, do, do a little sampling. And that's will blend the area and smooth things out. You can fill in all that with grass if you want to or, or not. And again, uh, we can certainly smooth things out. Any patterns that build up, we can use this tool to uh, kind of fix those things. Look at that. So we got like pasture over there now. We can fill this in. Just clicking and punching it up a little bit. So you can see we've changed this image a lot, haven't we? We've really gotten rid of all those wires, gotten rid of the poles, because this is what it looked like before we got started. We go down to the end of our history, the last thing we did, bang. What, what a difference. Uh, we've made getting rid of posts and, and all kinds of things. I forgot to go back and, and get rid of this. So there I went back and got rid of that middle post again. We'd already gotten rid of it once as I mentioned. I uh, had a problem in the recording and I had to go back and redo this whole image again and try to bring it back to where you last saw me work and uh, forgot that post. So hopefully this uh, makes sense to you. And you can uh, replicate these steps. Obviously, watch this video as many times as you need to. Because not only does this fix landscapes, recreates it, gives it a new look, whatever. Uh, this works on uh, restoring portraits as well. All of these little tricks I showed you work. Um, I've, I've taken people that had uh, glass over one eye or maybe there's a uh, tear in the picture and one eye is destroyed, you take the other eye, just like we did part of the roof, and you bring it over, you make a copy of it, bring it over, flip it, and move it around a little bit, and voila, you've got a new eye um, made out of the uh, one good eye. So you can repair just about anything unless the surface is so destroyed that the emulsion is gone and uh, you know, much of the data is not there. You can't just recreate it unless you get into Photoshop painting. And uh, you can certainly do a lot of things there as well. For instance, if we, uh, instead of going in here and using the clone tool, some of the things that you can fix very quickly involve turning on the brush, just painting, and if you hold down the uh, Alt or Option key, you can sample the color. 
So right now you see the color picker change as I sample this. I let go and it's back to a paintbrush and I can paint with the color that I just uh, selected. So if I want to fix this area right here, there may be multiple whites in here, but if I hold down the Alt or Option key, I sample very close to that piece and just paint right over it. Same here, same down here. And like I say, if it were multiple tones, uh, multiple colors in there close, we just keep resampling. And sometimes it's best not to paint with 100%. This goes back to uh, spotting and toning images that uh, we used to in the uh, darkroom days. We'd get spots on our images and you would use paint to fill in the area but you would fill it in, you'd, you'd just dab it uh, lightly, and then you come back and fill it in more and let it dry, fill it in more, let it dry, and paint some more until finally, like magic, it just disappears. It all just blends in with what's already there. So this kind of the same uh, type of spot toning and, and so forth that you can do. Again, I'll hold down the Alter Option key, sample that red, get a smaller brush, and just slowly build that up and paint that in. Sample that. So we can do all kinds of uh, things like spots on the face, uh, uh, pimples, uh, things like that, or tears and, and a little lint that's uh, made the print a little bit iffy. So hopefully you can put all these uh, tools to work for you and start experimenting, working on maybe some old images or do like this one, recreate without all those darn wires in the way. You look around, you want to, oh look, there's little fragments of uh, the wires that are there. So we can quickly get rid of some tree limbs. We sample the color around those little scraggly limbs and just whack those out of there. So hopefully uh, I've left you in a better place with this lesson on creating and recreating uh, things to suit you. All right, you're the artist. Use these tools and uh, feel empowered you know, grab something that's even tough to work on and try out your new skills. Talk to you all later. Bless your eyes.